Yes. Now, students, today our next so in data handling, so we are going to do workbook problems. So, in our fifteenth chapter, data handling, so we are going to do workbook problems. In the workbook problems, the first concept that is pictorial representation. So, the questions we are going to do on pictorial representation in performance time A. In performance time A, the first concept that is pictorial representation. So, the question is based on the pictorial rep representation that is given. See here, the data given below shows the number of students of a class so with their favorite hobbies. Represent this information in the form of a pictorial representation. So, in the form of pictorial representation. See here, here in a particular so class some students are there, so their hobbies are given. So, some students like music and some students like sports and some students have their hobby painting and reading. So, 20 students in a class 20 students, student of class, so in a class 20 students hobby is music, 35 students hobby is sports and 25 so, students they like painting and 20 students they like reading. So, this information, this information we should represent in a pictograph, okay, pictorial representation. So, first of all, whenever we are going to represent pictorial representation, first we should observe the data. So, here observe the data here 20, 35, 25 and 20. How this all observations means how the number of boys this 20, 35, 25, 20. Here all are 5 multiples, all are 5 multiples. So, if all are 5 multiples, just we should check. So, the given according to the information, the given data. So, either it is a 5 multiple, 2 multiple, 4 multiple or 10 multiple that we should check first. Okay? Now, all these are 5 multiples. It means whenever we are going to so represent a data so in pictorial form, so then you should take a scale here one boy so one boy is equal to five students five five students one boy is equal to five students okay now hobbies first one is music so here music the second one is sports the third one is painting The fifth one is reading, the fifth one is reading. So, now say so music 20 students, 20. So, here reading, painting, sub sports, music, painting, music, sports, painting, and reading. Music, sports, painting, and reading. So, total 4. So, here music, how many students? So, hobbies have is a music 20, 20 students that means in 5 table when you will get 20, 5 4 is a 5 4 is a why, why so we should check in 5 table because 1 student is equal to 5 students it means 5 4 is a it means here we should draw 5 student 4 students 1 student is equal to 5 this is 5 plus 5 10. 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 5, 20, 20 students over. Now, sports 35. In 5 table, when you will get 35, 5, 7 is a, means 7 students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 students, 7 students, 7 students means 7 5 is a 35, total 35 students. Now, here painting 25 means in 5 table when you will get 25, 5 5 is a means 5 students we should draw here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 students. Okay? Now, reading 20 students, 20 means in 5 table when you will get 25, 4 is a means 4 students, 
for students we should draw here this is the pictorial representation this is the pictorial representation it means one student here what scale we, we took here so one student if you draw one student means that is equal to five students so according to the information first you should check in five table when the data will come so that many so students we should draw in a pictorial representation so this is about the pictorial representation whenever the data is given first of all we should check so, the information in which common table so which is common factor they have so that we should take so we should take as a scale taken as a scale so here all this have a common factor 5 so it means one student if you draw one student that means that is equal to five students now you draw so according to the scale okay so in this so the next is second question hearts got the following marks out of 100 out of 100 so in the annual examination students so marks he got so the draw vertical bar chart vertical bar chart he is asking vertical bar chart so not horizontal so vertical bar chart he is asking okay see here so how to draw vertical bar chart now here subjects marks in english he got 80 marks in hindi he got 85 in maths 95 science 92 history 75 geography 70 so these marks he got so then he is asking vertical bar chart which one vertical so vertical means like this so subjects we should take on x axis that is on horizontal axis and the number of marks means marks on y axis we should take that is vertical axis so marks on y axis and subjects on x axis so now subjects the first is english hindi maths science history geography now so marks so the every centimeter we should take 10 10 marks zero so the intersection where the x axis and y axis intersect so there we should take zero then after that for every centimeter we should take 10 10 10 10 units 10 marks zero the first centimeter is 10 so mark on first centimeter on vertical column so as 10 and the second centimeter on the next centimeter 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 till 100 you continue your marks you continue your marks and write on a vertical column okay now after that in english he got 80 marks so you should leave one one centimeter means one box so then in the next box 80 in english he got 80 80 means this is our 80 so here 80 means we mark like this and draw a bar this is a bar so this is subject english in english subject in english he got 80 marks okay now in hindi 85 in hindi 85 again you should leave one box means one centimeter and draw in the next one hindi hindi 85 means in between 80 and 90 so the dark box that is that represents 85 hindi 85 hindi 85 this is hindi 85 85 marks in hindi next maths 95 so where is 95 here in between 90 and 100 so 95 will come so the dark line between 90 and 100 so that is 95 so leave one centimeter means one box in between and draw a bar this is bar graph okay so this is maths this is about maths how much maths 95 in between 85 and so 90 and 100 in between 90 and 100 you'll get so a little bit higher 
this is maths now science 92 92 means so again you should leave one box and 92 so after 100 two lines after 90 after 90 count two lines and draw a bar this you should draw in a graph paper so this is science 92 science 92 so this is english this is hindi this is maths then this is about science now after that history history 75 75 means in between 70 and 80 70 and 80 here in between 70 and 80 here this is our history Seventy five history This is our history marks seventy five. Now geography. So geography seventy. Seventy where is seventy here seventy. So here seventy. This is our geography. In geography, how many marks he got? He got 70, that is geography. This is about geography, okay. So, in geography, so geography, how many marks he got? 70. So, on 71st, you mark on 70 and draw a bar. So, this is about the information. So, so using using bar graph the two vertical bars all these are vertical so these are vertical bars okay so now the students next question is the number of road accidents in a particular city of six months in six months as follows so draw the bar graph so bar graph we should draw so number of accidents in particular month is given total in six months in the month of january so 12 accidents so it took place in February month, 10 accidents. In the month of March, 8 accidents. In the month of April, 9 accidents. In the month of May, 16 accidents. And in the month of June, 14 accidents. And what he is asking? Choose a suitable scale for a bar graph. Here also, so scale. So first, how to take scale? First, we should check the information. So number of accidents that is 12, 10, 8, 9, 16 and 14. Here the maximum number is 16. So we should take 2 as a scale. For every centimeter, we should take 2 accidents. 2 accidents. It means 1 centimeter. On y axis, 1 centimeter. We should take 2 accidents for every centimeter. So then how to draw bar graph? So first we should draw a horizontal line. So, that is first vertical line. So, this is our vertical line. The another is horizontal line. Vertical line and horizontal line. So, here the intersection point. So, where and x axis and y axis intersects. So, this is our intersection point of x axis and y axis. Here we should take 0. First, we should leave a centimeter then this is second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth first this is in the month of january in the month of leave one centimeter then here february then here march here april in the month of april next may the last is June. Here the, there is June. Here. Now scale. 
2 4 6 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 the first one is 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 for every centimeter we should take 2 2 units so till 16 we should take till 16 we should take for every centimeter so now after that in the month of january 12 accidents 12 where is 12 here 12 so at 12 we should draw a bar in the month of january 12 accidents so this is about 12 12 accidents in the month of January. In the month of February, 10 accidents. Where is the 10 here? Here in the month of February, 10 accidents. Here we have 10. 10 accidents in the month of February. In the month of March, 8 accidents. Where is 8? Here. Here is 8. 8 accidents in the month of March. So, 8 accidents. Next, in the month of April, 9. 9 means in between 8 and 10. So, the little dark line is a 9. That represents 9. In the month of April, 9 accidents. In the month of May, 16 accidents, highest accidents in the month of, in the month of, so May, in the month of May, total 16 accidents. Total how many accidents? 16 accidents. Now, in the month of June, 14 accidents. There are 14. In the month of June, 14 accidents. Fourteen accidents in the month of June. So, in this way, so we should draw a bar graph and also we should write a scale. What scale we took here? So, 1 centimeter we took as 2 units, 2 units means 2 accidents, 1 centimeter we took as 2 units, why because, so on y axis on every centimeter we increase 2 to 2 to 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 14, 14 to 16, it means per centimeter we took 2 to units, that means scale as 2 units, ok, ok students, here not down here, it is 14, ok, now, the next question in performance time B, so the questions based on tally marks. The first question, the number of points of different denominations found in a piggy bank is mentioned below here in a piggy bank, so different different types of coins mentioned below. So complete the tally chart and answer the following questions. First we should complete the so chart and then after that so whatever the questions he is asking that we should do. See here, 50 paisa points. 50 paisa coins, 1 rupee coins, 2 rupee coins, 5 rupee coins are there in a piggy bank. So then how many 550 paisa coins? So this means 5, this means 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 50 paisa coins. It is very easy to simplify, it is very easy to calculate, okay. So through tally marks, so it is very easy to say, so number of coins, okay. So 1 rupee coins. 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 16, 17, 17. So then 2 rupee coins, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23, 23 coins. So then 5 rupee coins, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 5 rupee coins, 18, 5 rupee coins. This is about number of coins. Now. So question A, which type of coins is maximum in number, maximum in number, so that is 2 rupee coins, 2 rupee 
coins answer. Two rupee coins, two rupee coins are maximum in number. Next, which type of coin is minimum in number? Minimum, minimum is 14. So that is 50 paisa. 50 paisa coins are minimum in number. Then the third answer. So which is more in number? 5 rupees or 1 rupee? 5 rupees or 1 rupee? So once you check 5 and 1. 5 rupee coins 18, 1 rupee coins 17. So which are more in number? So that is 5 rupee. 18 is more means 5 rupee coins. 5 rupee. 5 rupee coins are more in number. Okay. Now the students next. By how much is the number of 5 rupee coins more than 50 paisa? 5 rupee coins. First you check 5 rupee coins and 50 paisa coins. So then how many coins are more? How many coins are more he is asking? So means we should subtract and say. So that is 18. So 50 paisa coins 18. 18 minus 14. 18 minus 14 is 4 coins. 4 coins. 4 5 rupee coins are 4. 5 rupee coins are 50 paisa coin so how many he is asking that is 4 that is 18 minus 14 4 the next one is find the total number of coins in the piggy bank so total means we should add so that is 14 plus 17 plus 23 plus 18 so now we should add 8 plus 3 21, 21 plus 10, 28, 32, 32 and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 82 coins, 82 coins, total 82 coins, okay. How many coins are there? Total 82 coins. Once again see here, 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 21, 28, 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 82 coins. Okay, students. Now see, students, once again, add 8 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 11 plus 7, 18, 18 plus 4, 19, 20, 20, 20 22, 22, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here, 72 coins. I mean, not 82, 72 coins. Total 72 coins were there. Okay, so in a piggy bank, total how many coins are there? Total 72. Just we should add all this. Okay, then you'll get total coins. Okay. Yes, now students brain booster, brain booster problems. The first question, question is here, the following bar graph shows the number of story books read by various students in a year. So take the correct answer. Here various students, David, so David, Maria, John and Mary. So David, he read 12 books. How many books? 12 books. 12 story books he read. So Maria. 21, 21 books she read, John 9 books he read and Mary 15 books, 15 books. Now the question who read maximum number of books, maximum, so which one is the maximum, so 21 is the maximum, so that is Maria, so Maria is the right answer, Maria is the right answer. The second question. How much more books did Maria read more than Mary? So Maria and Mary. So if you compare these two, 21, 15. So how many more books means we should subtract 21 minus 15. That is 6. 6 more books. 6 more books. So Maria read more than Mary. Okay. Now the third one. Who read the minimum number of books? Minimum. So in this 12, 21, 9 and 15. So minimum is 9. That is John. So he read 
minimum books that is 9 john is the right answer now how many books did david read david so where is david david read 12 books how many books he read 12 books 12 is the right answer 12 is a right answer according to the bar graph so first we observe the bar graph and on the basis of the bar graph so whatever the questions given so just we see and so we make it correct answer so where whatever is the correct answer there we keep a tick mark okay